Wouldn't it be great if you could watch live TV on your Google Home Hub? Well, my friends, yes, you can, as well as on-demand TV. Now, as I'm UK-based, I'm going to be concentrating on UK channels, but the principle of this will work in the US as well. Let's take a closer look. Open BBC iPlayer. My apologies, I don't understand. So the Google Home Hub doesn't really have apps as such. It doesn't have anything built in, so it hasn't got the iPlayer app. So you might think that you can't watch TV, but you can. You can cast it from your device, whether it be your phone or whether it be your tablet, just as I'm doing here. Now, the other really good thing with the BBC iPlayer app is that you can actually watch live TV, whereas some of the other ones you can't. But I'm going to show you how you can do a workaround to enable you to watch live TV. So as you can see, that's working brilliantly in the background and that screen will just clear in just a second. There you go. And it's a really good image and sound sync is not a problem at all. Now with some of the others, so with ITV and certainly with 4OD, you do get the issue with live TV. But as I said, I'll show you a workaround for that. So at the moment, if I go in and cast to the kitchen display, now that means that I can go onto anything which is on demand and it will work absolutely fine. So if you're looking at an on demand service, this will work brilliantly casting it to your home hub but it won't work with live tv and as you can see you get that w warning on your phone saying sorry we can't cast our live service and you get exactly the same when you're trying with all four but again you can go into any of the demand channels and if i start one for instance just to show you select an episode and as you can see, it's starting and is working absolutely fine. So all of the on-demand channels you can do, but you can't do live TV with certain ones. So that means you need to have a workaround. Now, so I thought that that might be through TV Catch-Up, but when I went into the app, it didn't give me the option to cast at all. But there is a service which I can show you in a second. While we're on the point here, now one of the main things or the main problems with the Google Home Hub is that you don't have that facility to search, for instance, on YouTube. Whereas now having this ability to cast to your device, you can go in and you can search all of my videos and then you can have them on the phone, the list of them. And then when you go in and select one, which I'll do in just a second for you, you press play and it will appear on the Home Hub. So it's a great workaround for YouTube too. But now let's look at a workaround for live TV. Now, there is an app which you can download on your phone called Webcast. It's for Chromecast and it's designed to work with Google Chromecast, but it will actually work with the display as well. And I'm sure this will work in the States with your live TV service as well. So just download the Webcast for Chromecast application and then if you try a website, you can see you've got the actual web address bar at the top where you can go in and type in a web address. So I'm going to go back to that TV catch-up, but this time I'm going to be going to the web browser. And I'll type in tvcatchup.com, log into that. And as you can see, I can press on it now and that will stream directly to the display. Temperatures again, up to around about 9 to 11. Like so. Again, up to around about 9 to and as you can see, that's working absolutely fine. No issues at all. And if I just try one of the channels which wasn't working previously, so this is ITV. And as you can see, that is now streaming to a full display on your Google Home Hub. And this one is the live channel four. And as you can see, that's working too. Right, there were a couple of limitations and let me show you and tell you about those. Right, so working without any issues at all, straight from the app, you could cast BBC channels and BT Sport, and that would be live and on-demand services. And then also you had the addition of ITV on-demand and 4 on-demand. So you couldn't do the live channels, but you could do the on-demand service. Now, casting via the webcast app, we were able to get ITV working with live TV and also channel 4. But there are a couple of services which we couldn't get working with either. And they were Netflix, just didn't work at all. We couldn't get a connection and also any of the Sky channels. But there you go, guys. That is a little workaround, hopefully, for you to be able to watch live TV and on-demand TV on what is already a brilliant device, the Google Home Hub. Thanks for watching this video, as always, my friends, and I will see you on the next one.